Hello, I'm Joe Crisitello. I am the director and the editor of this movie. And I'm Joseph Martin, uh, the producer. Ah, yes. And this is our feature presentation of Buddy Cop, a 70s Buddy Cop film. And this is our commentary. So I hope you enjoy the ride as much as we did. And hopefully you watch the movie before you listen to this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many people will enjoy this, but I think we will enjoy we this. Will. Now, one thing that I remember during Taco's running scenes is that we cut out a lot of it out because there was a lot more running scenes to it. Oh, yeah. But we try to keep it as simple as possible, I think. The other thing I just I want to... Um, the grandma had no dialogue in the original <laughs> script. <laughs> Yeah, and... the grandma did have no dialogue. And yo, when I said the I'm sick of these kids with the ripped jeans, I like I was just doing that to get in character. <laughs> and we just ended up using it because it was funny. It was amazing. But yeah, no, your improv on this was incredible. Yeah, Literally. I remember that garbage. It was like one like flash card of piece of paper in the fucking on the driveway. Rock and roll. <laughs> And then Taco tackled me. How many times did he tackle me? I had you three? guys film it at least three times. Yeah, I think it was three. And yo, this scene, if you notice, Martin is frozen. It's a freeze frame. And a lot of people did not notice that. Oh, I was so worried that people were going to notice because I remember you told me about yeah. that. But whenever I'm watching the movie, I'm so into it. Everybody I don't even is notice. so into the Price is Wrong or whatever. No one even notices. Yeah. And also, wasn't this like the last scene that we filmed, right? This was the last thing we filmed, was the yeah. wrong price or whatever it's called. Um, and then Martin's eating dry, like, cinnamon toast crunch. Um, this scene, we, we originally had a different scene for Martin as the intro, where he was going to have this crush on a, a girl named Michelle. Who is a, like, office secretary or something in the police station. Yeah, but then when we watched the, the first rough edit, we realized there was an important scene that we never put in, which was... This breaking news yeah. scene right here. We never set up the fact that President Hillary Clinton was the president in our reality for this. Which is extremely important. And then I remember we were going to superimpose a picture of Taco and Martin in those picture frames oh, yeah. behind him, but it didn't end up working because Taco or Martin kept Mom. moving his hand in front of the, the picture frame. Oh. President Clinton is really hitting out the park today. And we just had to throw that in there again to make sure that everybody knew that President Clinton was president right, in this Listen, universe. Really trying to hit it over their heads. <clears throat> and then Martin puts down his phone, picks up the badge, picks up his phone again, <laughs> and then walks out. <laughs> and then the theme song. A 70s buddy cop film. No the, lyrics for that theme no, song. No. I think it's effective way more without it. Directed by yours truly, Joey Crisitello. We got a screenplay blah, 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 screenplay by Joseph Martin. Uh, the music? music? What was the music done? Like the week the movie came out, right? Like yeah. literally one of the last days? Yeah, one of the last days before the movie came out, Joe finally sent me the, the final edit of this song. And there's me I and a nice wig and a mustache, <laughs> which is a great coat, by the way. And that was just stock footage of, obviously, the New York Police Department. And then it cuts to our fabulous friend, Anthony Martin. Ramos. Thank you, Ramos. He did a great job. Martin, my man. How you doing, Chief? The nice uh, plywood in the background. Actually, pretty good. I think I found something. With the amplifier <laughs> on, the, on the desk. <laughs> Yo, remember we were trying to decorate this desk yes. with, like, as much shit as we could, so I put the flowers there? And remember I put, like, those fucking bingo cards on the table? I, yep. And you guys were like, no, they, they, they didn't want bingo cards on the table. I'm like, all right, I'll go fuck myself then. And uh, no one's going to know what I'm pointing to, but this thing with the pencil on it? Oh, yeah, that, that was? Remember we argued what it was called? What it was called, the protractor thing? The, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and like the dirty was that the computer that I think it's a computer that Taco winds up breaking what I yeah. love is that he, it has his signature on it oh yeah. <laughs> yeah I remember Taco kept drawing his name all over everything everything he wrote it on that piece of plywood behind Martin right there and the empty bottle of like wine uh, I think it's the only <laughs> reference to Michelle in the whole movie. Yeah, it is. Martin and Martin Taco uh, improvised those chair throwings. Yeah, yeah. 
and the bag of Huggies diapers <laughs> in the background, <laughs> which I th- I don't even think had diapers in it. I think it only had like is that like maracas or something. I, oh yeah, you're right. It did right, have like, like a tambourine of maracas. Everyone kept asking me like, "Yo, why does the police chief have amplifiers?" <laughs> and we didn't have an answer to that. Uh, I'm just assuming it's like Exhibit B from some case he's working on right now. Oh yeah, that's that's a good point. I can already feel it. You guys are gonna be great. <laughs> and then stock footage of the Brooklyn Bridge, or maybe the George Washington Bridge. I can't, can't really tell. And then the the rip of the paper ends the music. I love that. Clearly in the same room, and the stars of the movie coming up here. That that is our fellow uh, William Joseph Martin right here, who is recording the commentary with me. <laughs> Dude, when we filmed that, that was probably the most we laughed collectively. Oh, yeah. You think? I, oh, my gosh. We laughed at that so hard. We filmed it probably one too many times just because it was so funny. It took us at least a half hour to film just that one line because just, we were laughing so much. Dude, we were laughing so hard every time he raised his hand and said, yeah. Joseph Martin. <laughs> And then you guys look at each other. Yo, you guys switch spots. Yeah, but, well, because Martin kept looking at the wrong person when he was saying our names. Yeah. So we, so we were trying to correct it. Yeah, and I think that, you guys switch spots oh, yeah. here. Wait. I know what we do at the end when we yeah, leave. Oh, yeah, at the end you guys leave because yeah. yeah, I start leaving first. Yeah. And then it cuts to me leaving last. Yeah, so you guys are, are switch <laughs> spots. And you know what's funny is this whole scene was like eight takes cut into one. And then more stock footage of you did a really good job cutting that. Freedom Island, I think, or whatever it's called. I can't remember. And then the theme song, of course. And it cuts to uh, Ancy Taco with his scary like motorcycle boots. This was was this one of the the first scenes we filmed? This was the first thing we filmed. This take actually was the first thing that we we shot. The oh, first wow. thing we shot in the movie is made it into the movie. And you can tell by the difference of beard length from Taco in this scene. And then when he plays with the radio, it's way shorter, right? And then it's way longer again. Oh, that's You can't really tell because of the the letterbox, but that's one thing I learned. And my face is coming up on the flower, on the yellow flower in the corner to the right. Oh, yeah. I think it's right after this scene. My face is on the flower. We don't have a car. Wait. I don't think so. Yep, there's oh, my there face. There's my fucking I face. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yo, this scene was so funny because we filmed this for like five minutes, and then Taco smashed the computer because your dad was like, "Yo, yeah, you guys can uh can break one of those computers." Yeah. So we like triple check to make sure we smashed the right computer. Yeah. And then yo, you remember Taco was showing off before and snapped to the computer oh, before we yes. were filming? Yes. The, so we had to pretend like it was still together yeah. when he threw it. And this is shot on uh, Taco's Road. And the kid right here is Taco's son. His name is also Joseph. So that is the third Joseph in this movie. Yeah. And then I told Joe to push Martin over, and Martin was, like, totally cool with it. And then he just screams, I'm out! And then <laughs> Taco's just laughing. He was, like, just actually laughing at that. I think he was just so proud of his son. I think he that. was proud of his son for pushing over... Uh, a police officer. Uh, yes, a police officer. <laughs> which we forgot their badges in this scene. Oh. Yeah. But you know what? Well, but again, at this point, if, if someone is noticing that... <laughs> it's the same scene reversed. <laughs> then cut to the, uh, the same stock footage. With city sound effects in the background. And our, all this, all these props were just found in that office, and we were just using like empty folders for papers. And then this was shot in my basement at like eleven o'clock at night, and Taco was just making so much noise, punching the walls, that my fucking parents were like, "What the heck is going on down there?" <laughs> I love, uh, I love that Martin's trip. fall there. That yeah. trip was improv, right? We we just told yeah. him like. Real quick, like, yo, just, I believe I told him, I was like, yo, just trip real quick. We made him do it, I think, six different times to try yeah. finding the right clip. I remember this, I, I set my basement up like a fucking gym with the, like, the bench press and the treadmill in front of the door. Oh, I didn't even notice the treadmill before. Yeah. I love that newspaper. God, remember we, we actually reshot this film yeah. or this scene because... We originally didn't have the yeah, newspaper. Yeah, we originally did not have the newspaper article. And there's my first appearance. Oh, no, my second appearance in this movie. I play uh, Pauly Crisitello, which is actually a mobster from the 
Or no, I don't even remember my character's name. Yes, yeah, Polly. Polly. Is it Polly? Polly Crisotella. Yeah, Polly. I play a character in the mob movie universe. I think it's time I showed you something. Which you would only knew that. I guess only I know that really, which is not important. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. Now this scene, this uh, parking garage scene was shot at like 11 o'clock at night in downtown Binghamton and everybody was so sketched out because we just kind of like trespassed in this parking garage and we were like yeah dude we're just gonna film and like everyone was like oh fuck dude like are we are the cops gonna come and I'm kind of shocked that nobody kicked us out I love the idea that Ramos's character had tried solving the hotel robbery once before as well yeah. and now is like passing on the baton to them um, yeah, yeah he kind of is for sure I keep wondering like did he have the time traveling cop car himself and go in the the past to solve it like what did he fuck up yeah you know yeah you remember the take where anthony got in the car with them (laughs) 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 there that next the next day thing was only because like the one scene was filmed at night and then this was filmed in the day and i was like oh fuck that doesn't make sense so we're just gonna make it the next day and it worked i love this this was your idea for the manual yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah. It was I love like it. right here. It'll show it. It'll say like, hey, yeah. Press the red button for time <laughs> travel. Press green to go back, and that was it. And I remember we laughed about that for so long yes. when we were writing the movie. And then Taco just nods, and I love this effect right here. It the cards fucking disappears. That it's such a simple effect, but it it like is incredible. I can bag a disco chick. The best line of the movie. It is the best line of the movie. Taco can, you know what? And we never show him talking to any disco chicks, do nor do we for? show any disco chicks. <laughs> Man, they don't got mobile phones in the seventies. I love the way Taco says I, dude, that line. Yeah, I agree. I think he he did a phenomenal job. Let's go do research. He, yo, this line right here was improv right here. Why are you always running somewhere? Because Taco yeah. has a tendency to just end the scene by just running away, and this montage was. Me, Taco, and Martin just went to a bar. And then right there, that's Taco pouring gasoline on a drummer in a band because Taco worked this stage crew for this local band. And I went there and just filmed him doing dumb shit. And also, I didn't know they had vapes in 1972. <laughs> and then it cuts to Taco wearing a different shirt. His, his Hawaiian shirt over his, like, fucking ACDC t-shirt or some shit. bullshit. And then they're running. <laughs> Taco. <laughs> Does anyone know? I don't think anybody notices. I don't think anybody knows. Should we tell them? Uh, Fuck it. Nope. Sure. Okay, so that running scene was not Taco. It was Joseph Martin. Yeah, I, I'm Taco's a leg double. He is his movie. leg double, yes. And that this scene was shot in a completely different location. And then this was shot in my basement with this fucking like dirty ass twin mattress that I've had sex on like 40 times when I was like 15. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's so great. <laughs> and Taco and Martin are fucking laying on it with beers all over and like stains all over the mattress. This is the this is a great scene. I'm a gamer. <laughs> you know what's so funny is we wrote the movie and we edited the movie. Yeah. And it, we still laugh. <laughs> well, we he, we he, like, wrote he, it. I dude, I faded out, but Taco was like massaging his fucking tit, and I was like, yeah, this isn't right. And then it cuts to me, the Pure Hotel. <laughs> There's my hair flowing in the wind, dude. I love it. With my diamond earrings. And that coat that I'm wearing is my godmother's coat. Now, my godmother, Aunt Googie, okay? Yeah. She is like 90 years old, dude. Oh, God bless And her. she had that coat in a fucking suitcase from like the 80s that she never unpacked. And I saw it and I was like, yo, I want that coat. So I took it and used it in the movie. Oh, wow. Remember I showed you the coat yes. and you were like, dude, that doesn't look... Yeah, anything I do. like it should belong in our yeah. movie, and I fucking wore it anyway. Yes. I'm sorry for that. No, it was great. I wore it anyways. I was like, was "Fuck great. you!" This movie is being <laughs> this coat is being in the movie. Still, the Still, Pierre Hotel. The Pierre Hotel, indeed. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the exact same clip. Yeah, that was one of the first ideas we had talked about very early on. Was if they're resetting things, it would be the exact same clip that it always was. Yeah, and we actually had more scenes planned out, but one of the scenes fell yep. through. Yeah, <clears throat> which. It wasn't, this was kind of a hybrid between, like, what it would have been, but 
This works out better, I think. This, I think it does too. I love Mar. I love Martin here. <laughs> Taco gets shot. You can see Taco smirking right here. <laughs> you can see, you see him kind of smiling right there. Look at that makeup job. That's so good. I wish we had a little blood in there, but we didn't have a little blood. That's okay though. You should know by now. <laughs> Remember, that was one of the last things we did yeah, to the movie yeah. before we exported the movie. And then I'm wearing a fucking Zoo York t-shirt under that. But the idea for this, there's me dropping the briefcases in the background, but we somehow used the clip still. <laughs> the idea was I was in a disguise, too, because I was robbing the hotel. Everyone right. was like, why do you look different in the movie, like in the bathroom scene and then in this? Because I needed a disguise to rob the hotel. Oh, is that a question you've gotten? I've gotten that a lot. And I'm like, oh. dude, I run home and change and go sit in the front yard. Yeah, the reason no one has been able to track you down yet is because you were wearing a disguise the whole time. I was wearing a disguise, time. exactly. That's not what your character looks like. Exactly. The, the mustache looks so ridiculous because and it's a disguise. And there's parts in the movie where you can see the mustache hanging out. Right. And I'm like, it's clearly supposed to be fake. Right. That's a sick transition, by the way. I'm very it's proud fantastic. of that. Taco's wearing a fucking Yankee hat. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the yeah, wide shot before yeah. he gets out. Man, we, fucking we fucking made it, man. Martin's like, <laughs> phenomenal This was shot. one of the last scenes, right? That yeah, we filmed? this was yeah. towards the end. This, this was, was very the second to last uh, filming session. The movie started in August and we ended up in like December filming. This scene's very important uh, for the post credit sequence. We have to yeah. pay attention to this for that to make sense. I hate a wheels too, man. Because Taco's just a caveman. Right. A hairy right. caveman. One thing that I don't know if people notice about his, Taco's character is that at the start of the movie, he's very, very aggressive. Yeah. And then once he comes out of the closet, do you notice he's so he's much nicer? Very, he's because he. That's why in the punching bag scene, Martin's like, "Why are you so mad all the time?" Yeah. Because Taco is holding in his sexuality. Right. Now another side note on now that. Now look at him. He's now he's pouring. He's coffee pouring coffee for Martin. for Martin, which is a honey bear mug yeah. and a happy secretary <laughs> day mug. <laughs> and then yo, there's my our mob movie in the background. There's our oh. good friend Joseph Martin, uh, <laughs> about to hit somebody with a gun. Boom. And a lot of people would just focus on the mob movie and not paying attention to what Taco and Martin were talking about here. And that that lady right there is actually like a professional newscaster. Yeah, she in, works in for England. like uh, BBC News, right? BBC News, and I believe she's worked for ITV before. Um, she's interviewed like the Rolling Stones and Jay Z before. And, and now she's in a shitty amateur and now uh, she's, YouTube movie. Now she's worked her way all the way up to uh, working uh, in a 70s buddy cup. <laughs> yes, uh, quite <laughs> esteem, if I might add. What the fuck? Don't you see we did this? I remember Taco had to read. The script is actually no, underneath the the newspaper article. Oh, yeah. Because Taco. Just out of frame, I think. Yeah, Taco just cannot memorize lines. So we, a lot of times, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, yes, it is. But Taco will just read the lines yo, right from the paper. I don't want to do this, man. Let's, let's just go. Like, yo, the music, man, I think, man, really man. helped us. This, scene. Yeah, I, because before we go, this, we, uh, we didn't have this, like, epic so music go. in the background let's of the scene, and it, it went on for longer. So when we put, we cut it, like, half, we cut half of it off. I love that transition, too. We cut half of it off and then put the epic music in there. Yeah. And it, I think it added, like... A, a, a little bit more energy to it. I'm I'm still surprised at how much editing can change something. Like you, a you, simple you, cut. Yeah. Dude. It's Yo, like you're refilming it. It's the exact same clip, but Rob just by editing it, it can completely change like the whole the tone, tone, the yeah. tonality of the yeah. scene. Yeah. Shit. And Martin looked at the camera right there. Oh, there's my legs again. Yep. There's uh, Joseph Martin's legs with the taco Hawaiian shirt. Yep. I love the reflection. Yeah, me too. And then this is clearly at a different location. Everyone was like, why do you keep showing the scene? It all makes sense at the end yeah. of the movie. Just be patient. Yes. The snowflake right there on the, the light post. Taco's looking at the camera again. Yo, this is disgusting. This sound effect I know. is so gross. It's so gross, and I, I demanded it be in there. I thought it was oh, so did. important. Wait, I think it's coming up. <laughs> Ew, dude. Yeah, you did demand that this was yeah. in there. And I, I thought it, you put it in twice. Yes. It was yes. so gross. And this day, actually, Taco's yeah. son is sitting right next to Martin, but you can't see him. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's sitting right there. And, like, we kept filming and he kept making noise. And Taco was like, Joe, 
Stop making noise. We're filming. <laughs> and then, dude, all right. So the funny story well, about this scene didn't really work out is we we ordered our food and then we started filming and every all the waitresses in the in the that. place Sorry, noticed that we we were filming so everyone kept trying to like get in the background like the waitresses would like go sit at the chair next to us and they would like come ask us for like water when we clearly had like too much water everyone just like and those two kids sitting in the background they were like waving in the background and i i went oh, wow. over and was like yo like we're, we're trying to make a fucking movie here. I'm so sad I wasn't here for this, just because I love their food. Dude, their food is great. Yeah, we all got we all got breakfast. Oh. Yeah, we all got breakfast, and then my car broke down. Really? Yeah, my car broke down. I had to have Taco take me to the fucking shop. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> and then this was shot at a Wendy's, yeah. <laughs> presumably right next door to the diner, so they could see through the glass window. But one's clearly shot at night, and one's clearly shot during the day. And then Joe's uh, computer went into sleep mode, so that's great. And now we're back in the garage, a.k.a. the bathroom. <laughs> I love when he says that. Dude. I love how awkward. So this bathroom, although it looks nothing like it, is actually based on a real bathroom that I've been in at a restaurant. Really? Yeah. There's a, a, ba a restaurant in the area. I'll tell you about it later. And I've gone there, and it's right behind a bar. Yeah. You open the door, and there are toilet seats... And like a urinal, and there are no wall like breaks between it at all. There's nothing dividing it. So on top no, of which, wow, it's even worse than this because the door is literally you like if there were customers next to the door, like by the bar, when someone opened it, they could see someone just sitting on the toilet. It's so awkward, dude. That is so bad. Yeah. This night, I remember, it was really cold, and it was one night after after work. It was snowing when it we was filmed snowing. this. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We, th uh, November or something because this is oh, this was actually national, a national toilet day. National toilet day is when this was shot. Yeah. Remember we had that space heater in the garage because the garage was so cold. Yeah. And me and Taka or me and Martin were like basically <laughs> naked. I and love I remember, the way I love the way you look. Dude, like I love patch. the way I pulled out the gun. Dude, another big thing so about good. this scene is I was wearing a hat all day and I did yeah. not expect to film, so my hair isn't gelled, so my hair <laughs> just looks like I just got fucking like ravaged by a bear. And then I love how we look at each other. We get up, and then I, like, I, the idea is I can't get up to fight because I'm shitting my pants so right. bad. Right. That was the original idea that you yes. had for the, the, yes. the fight scene. And then it just always cuts back to Taco taking the same bite of food. Right? <laughs> Which I love. <laughs> but the idea for that is, like, that's how many times they went back in time. Yes. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. They kept screwing things up so many times. And I remember that scream. I just, I, ha I have a tendency to just scream and go crazy. So, yeah, that's, that's me going crazy. Taco's still <laughs> taking the same bite. I drag fucking Martin off the toilet seat. The same bite of food. I wipe oh, I my ass this. with shit. I'm so, this is, I love this. I know it grosses everyone Taco out. Taco walks out. Whoosh. Oh. <laughs> right in the face of shit. He's got shit in his fucking forehead. The shit falls off. He can't get the shitty toilet paper off of his shitty finger. Dude, and then it cuts oh, to black. Oh. And listen to this. <laughs> oh. Dude, that makes it so bad. So gross, dude. That's on par with um, when Martin's throwing up. Yeah. That noise. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> See, that's, like, no problem to me. Like, everybody shits, but, like... I love that after their conversation where Taco is saying, okay, what do you want to do? He can't steal the money. There's, There's no fucking hotel. <laughs> he says that so fast and then just runs out of the car. And then, I don't know anymore. What does that mean? I don't know anymore. <laughs> and then the hotel explodes. That fucking three second scene took me eight hours. And then I remember Joe was like, yo, I'm just going to throw the wig. Yeah. Yo, and then my name is written in the sky. On the top right corner. The if you go right back corner, and watch that, you'll see it says Joe. My name is written in oh, clouds. Yes. Oh, so that's one of the many Easter eggs that we have oh, hidden man, in this movie. What and Joseph is doing right now. So this scene was actually one of the first that we came up with for the movie. And once we were writing it, it was just a matter of trying to find a way to put this in. You know what I just realized? What? This is the same car. We should have used a different car. Well, the reason I, the reason we did that is, if it was a police car, yeah. Ramos just oh, took yeah. a normal police car. Do you have any duct 
sauce in there. And configured it to a time machine. This was shot in a different location than that original yeah, establishing shot. that's right. It was around the corner behind the building because the cars were too loud. Oh my God. I'm still trying to grow my hair back after this stupid haircut. So Joe got a haircut today and doesn't like it whatsoever. And Joe actually shaved his head for this scene and grew out his mustache. And he looked like a straight dick for a couple of days. <laughs> and then those lights were provided to us by uh, our friend Nathan. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, Nate, for those uh, police lights. Pulled over Dewey. Dewey's a sweet boy. He's very confused on why he just got pulled over by this <laughs> cop. And then it cuts back to 1972. With Taco with an awful oh job uh, taking one happened. sleeve out of his yeah. shirt. <laughs> See how nice he is here? Where the hell you been at? Let's go home. <laughs> and then it pans up. Oh, I love that. Me too. I just love slow panning shots up. This was shot without a green screen. Because remember, we did not put a green screen on this. and Because oh, this yeah. was before we, we could. Yep. And I remember editing it. I was like, oh, fuck, dude, we forgot the green screen. And then luckily nobody walked in front of it. Right. So I, we could just superimpose it. Then if you see, it says the Don Taco. On the chalkboard, because every time Taco got to this uh, location, he would write his name on the chalkboard. He, Taco's like a child sometimes, you see? He likes to draw his name on everything, and he, he gets distracted. Samuel Nallo. Okay, what is this? Robert These are the actual Hillary names Robert of the Clinton. people involved no. in the real-life robbery. These apart from Hillary Robin Yeah, Clinton. apart from Hillary Clinton. Which, we, I, I feel like we have to explain this because not a lot of people understood that. People don't understand that Hillary Clinton in this universe was staying at that hotel. And in the Taco, 70s. In the 70s. And Taco don't blew up the hotel see? and killed the future president. That's why on the TV it shows Donald Trump you as president meeting with Kim Jong-un. Right. It us who killed the president. It was you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she's not the, the president yet. yet. You know what? This is our little excuse for the boys to break up, to do their little their little breakup scene. Like every buddy cop movie has. Exactly. But it only lasts about a minute. I'm done. I've had Not even. This coffee is good that we got. I'm glad we got coffee. And then this scene was uh, my envision. I, I didn't know how to explain this scene to Joe, so... He, I literally told him that I was just going to act it out. There was no way to write this. Yeah, so you, yeah. I, I literally had to act out this scene to Joe in my kitchen, and then that's exactly <laughs> what we told Taco to do. And then you can see Bill sitting in the background with his head kind of hidden behind our prop bag. God damn it! That's supposed to be a sorry, microphone sorry, beep, a or a microwave. Bill is supposed to cut the tension. And if you can see, Martin's like, what the fuck? And at one point, Martin looks at the camera because he doesn't know, like, what to do next. <laughs> right here. Yeah, he looked at the camera, yeah. But the idea is uh, Bill pulled over Dewey and got the duck sauce, a lot of it. Any scene that involves Bill and I is about duck sauce, I've noticed. Yeah. Ah, uh, the music. You said we're what is wrong with this whole shebang? This scene went on for a lot longer than what we kept it. Because Taco and Martin just kept going at it. I have a tendency to like when I when I'm directing these actors, I will I won't say cut, I'll just let them play out the characters for as long as they can. So a lot of times we'll finish the scene and I won't say cut and they'll stay in character and a lot of gold moments that have made the movie have come out of those moments. Oh wow. Yeah. Bro, Especially this one, when Taco and Martin are like, "We stop ourselves." Oh, that was one of those moments. Oh wow! Hey, where are we gonna get this? This is the screen? best shot in the in the movie. Shopping. Now that scene took us a long time to shoot. All right, I just gotta compliment you real fast on this. I love the way you shot this to the music. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Taco, <laughs> and then he smiles, dude. He looks right at the camera and smiles. It's and this amazing. scene, when we were filming this, if you're gonna see Taco is gonna wave to his neighbor right there. He just waved to his neighbor because his neighbor was walking down the street. <laughs> and then I told Taco to do a little dance. How long did it take you to to film this this yo, walk? Baby. A long what's time. Oh, yo, baby, what's your mama's okay. name? So we gotta tell a story here. Yeah. While this uh, 
montage is going on. Ooh. So the line, yo, baby, what's your mama's name? That line is the reason this movie is made. Yes. Because, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to tell a story. At my previous workspace, yes. okay, I had... The good purchase. I had... <laughs> I had uh, sexual relations with this lady, right, oh, Let's go get a who hotel. was in the who same vicinity that, in the workplace, okay? Yes. And we didn't know her name for the longest time. No. And, like, I had sex with her, and, like, I... Like, and it was a little too late remember, to start asking yeah, her. Yeah, I couldn't remember what her name was, right? So she had her child with her, and... I yeah, think it was in you the, in the break room. Yeah. yeah. A kid would just hang out in the break in, room. In the employee lounge. In the employee yeah. lounge, yeah. And Joe was like, yo, we should just go ask the kid, like, yo, baby, what's your mama's name? <laughs> and then from there, we spawned a whole fucking movie, movie about that one line because it was, like, so stereotypical, like, 1970s black dude, like what Martin is playing right now. So we spawned the whole movie all because I didn't know the girl's name that I had and sex with. And the amount of times that you and I were trying to find a scene to fit that into Yo, was we didn't insane. Know. Yeah, we didn't know where to put that scene. And you remember, you, I just decided, I, I just had Martin film yeah. it. And I yeah. just put it at the end yes. of that song. And it literally, fit perfectly. Literally, every scene in this movie, there was a moment... Where Joe and I would talk about, can we fit the the line here? Yeah. Every scene in this originally, movie. Originally, I filmed. Uh, originally, I filmed him saying, "Yo, baby, what's your mama's name?" for a title sequence. Right. That's right. And but I I thought that it just fit best at the end of the song. Is he supposed to be here already? Now Martin loved his afro right here. There's me uh, racing by in my car. The car that Taco's in is actually Taco's car. This was a wonderful split screen. Oh, I love uh, this. This is a great scene. Of those two approaching each other, but clearly they're both. Do you remember we were so scared about if we moving could get the this... tripod? Yeah. Remember I told you to stop recording? Yes. And you were like, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I, do I didn't anything. want to touch the camera. <laughs> now originally, right here, if you see, Taco is about to get run over by a car. We actually cut it. We did show it. It didn't turn out as good as as I hoped it would. So we ended up just cutting it and using the sound effect to Sometimes it. it's better just to leave it up to their imagination. They yeah. kind of know what's happening, but let them just visualize it themselves. Yeah. I love this. This scene was, I'm shocked I that we pulled love this, this off. I don't know how we pulled this off and the timing it's so, so good. good. They both look at me at the same exact time. Dude, the oh. fact that we were able to time that so perfectly yeah. is I extremely hard, yeah. dude. Extremely hard. I don't think anyone will realize just how difficult that that is, but that is so hard to you know, do. It's, it's it's so hard to time up split screen, and we did it first try. Yeah. We got lucky. Is really what it was. And then Martin actually ran up that whole driveway, and, and he was bent over because he was legit so tired of running up the whole thing. And then his afro kept falling off. I remember that. <laughs> and I remember you were inside because it was it was like it was 30 so cold. degrees yeah. this day. Yeah. This day we filmed most of the movie. And they're, yeah, most of the movie was filmed this day. It was freezing. It was 30 they're, degrees. They're so not even wearing jackets. Yeah, I'm inside the building, yeah. like drinking hot cocoa the <laughs> whole day. Tacos in this, like, bed sheet, like, outfit yeah. thing. And then this is obviously separate takes of Joe handing Martin the briefcases. Which you don't see, but even though I'm off camera, I made sure to wear the turtleneck and the afro so I was in character. Yes, you did. As Indeed. Martin's body yeah. double. Yo, you know what's funny about this scene is I'm sitting to the left and you're sitting to the right when I'm filming Martin in the front seat. Yeah. Remember, I, I'm pretty sure you were in the back seat with me. Yeah. And then Martin was just talking to, like, the air. Fuck. I think we lost him. I'm gonna have to circle back around and see how they run. <laughs> Taco, it's just. Uh, and here's me running like I, I always run. I love your run. I love your run. I do that in every video that I have to run, I do that. <laughs> and then I blurped out my address right there. And everyone's like, what's that white box on the pole that you run past right here? You can see it, me run yeah. past it. I'm like, yeah, that's my address. Don't show up to my house. And then I remember a concern was like, yo, you don't look like you're from the 70s. And we just never addressed that but issue. They have sweatshirts in the 70s. Yeah. They and had then, hats in the you know, 70s. Originally, this time lapse in the script, it's written as me smoking cigarettes and drinking oh, a soda. That's and right. Remember, I didn't want to do that because I quit smoking cigarettes. That's right. You had and quit. I quit smoking cigarettes in every other movie that I've, I've, I've smoked in. I've smoked in. Okay. And this right. scene, it's actually in the script this. that I was going to smoke a cigarette and it would be a time oh, this lapse. Is so good. I love this. Oh this God, last briefcase. These things the money and then he oh. get fucking i get knocked over and then taco's line right here are you fucking kidding me you killed him that's my favorite fucking line at tacos but yeah i quit smoking cigarettes for this movie and i don't want to smoke oh, a cigarette 
And you can see my... Uh, you can tell this was filmed around Halloween. Yeah, because the fucking jack-o'-lantern and then the... Went through a lot of holidays while Yeah, a lot of holidays, this. yeah. And the briefcase L- Labor the Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yeah. New Year's? New Year's, yeah. Wow. Right, New Year's, yeah. You forgot these XOXO. Martin, 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 Martin Taco. Taco. And then you can see the time machine and Taco's car and Martin's car in the background <laughs> that nobody seemed to notice, a.k.a. me when I was editing. And they threw the note we down. Did it, bro. Yo, okay, everyone listen and to this. That was great thinking on your part with those briefcases, man. The reason Taco says it like that is because so we were driving we around in circles in this. Alive. There's Joe's car, by the way. We were driving around in circles in this field, and Taco could not say his line. And that was the only good take we had, <laughs> and it was not even worth it to go back to film one line. <laughs> and then they throw uh, so Martin number two out of the car, they throw him the afro. And the turtleneck. And they leave him in and the 70s. And they leave him in the 70s. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> I love that laugh. That wasn't oh, in the script. So that laugh was not in the script. No. No, that and, was just uh, them knowing their characters. Was exactly. So good. This was shot on the first day of filming. Yep. You remember that? I do. I do want to say something. And uh, when we first started off, I, I don't really like you. I don't really like you. <laughs> You're all right. I love this. Yo, and then it switches. Taco goes for the fist bump and Martin goes for the it's handshake. It's so smooth the way just Martin puts down Taco's hand like that. Yeah. And then it cuts to Donald Trump and uh, Kim Jong-un. Still Jordan. president. And they realize that the, the future is altered forever. What the fuck? I, I love oh. how it cuts. Oh, that's so good. And that is the end of Wow 70s Buddy Cop. Directed and edited by Joey Cristatello. It is also written by Joseph Martin and Joey Cristatello. And score, aka the music by Joseph Martin. I'm amazed at how many people don't know what score is. Dude, I, I remember I was like, I was like, all right, I'm gonna put music by. Yeah. You're like, no, 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 no. Score. I want to be score. <laughs> I'm like, you fucking pretentious dick, dude. Remember, it was a, a long argument about what font we should use. For yes, the, for the credits. Here. Up until the last day, we tried out hundreds of different fonts. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And then I remember we made up Taco and Martin's last names oh, yeah. of their characters <laughs> while we were writing the credits. And I'm pretty sure, like, we were on FaceTime when I was writing the credits. Yes. You know, and it's hard to, like, line up the credits, like, equally space them out. Grandma Edna is the uh, hidden star of the show. She stole this scene. God, she, yo, and which is funny because that Grandma Edna is based on an actual, an actual that we lady. had a picture. That we had a picture of this old <laughs> lady in the folder of the robbery, just as a joke for Taco, because Taco was like super afraid that that old lady was haunting the set. Yeah. Because like a bunch of creepy yep. shit kept happening on set. <laughs> and thanks to everyone was too scared for, to go uh, into all the different yeah, rooms oh, that yeah. were there. You remember like the creepy ass dark rooms that I tried to scare Taco yeah. in? And, like, <laughs> you I jumped just, out of one on one. I did. I jumped out of one, but I remember, like, I was too scared to scare him because the room is so scary. Yeah. And, I, yo, I wonder how many people actually saw this scene right here. I bet you a lot of people just closed Stopped it out. during the credits, yeah. After yeah. the credits, yeah. Well, they were rewarding yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the prehistoric time with a fucking light post <laughs> in the background. Remember we were, we were, we spent a long time on that, that font. Oh. You know? And like to add shadows to fonts font are everything. important. Yeah. Yo, this scene. I love this scene. Yo, this last shot. I was standing on top of my car. I dented the roof of my car. Oh. Yeah. And then this screen. We zoomed in. We filmed that probably eight times. And uh, I, I, my roof is still dented. And oh, that man. is. Uh, that's the end of the movie. That's the end of the movie. I feel like I have so much to talk about still. I know. And uh, the movie's an gone. Audio commentary part two. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, a nice screenshot of uh, Taco and Martin screaming right there for you wonderful people to look at. So, any last words, uh, William Joseph Martin? No. For this commentary? No. Uh, I, just ho- I hope everyone enjoyed it. This I, was I, a lot yes. of fun. It was a lot of fun to make the movie and do the commentary. The commentary is probably the best part. And uh, we just want to thank everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching the movie and listening to our inside knowledge for the commentary. Yeah. It was uh, great fun. So I hope everybody has a wonderful time. And thank you. Thank you.